Good morning, this Friday the 16th of July, I'm Sophia Mavridis, a market analyst at Bell Direct. Thank you for joining us. Overnight, we saw European markets all close lower and US equities close mixed for the first week of second quarter earnings. The S&P 500 slightly fell 0.3%, while the Dow Jones closed in positive territory, up almost 54 points. The Nasdaq closed 0.7% lower as Apple, Amazon and Microsoft all fell. Yesterday, growing, growing COVID-19 concerns across the nation weighed down on the market, as well as news that China's economic growth for the second quarter was slightly below expectations of 8% growth. It rose 7.9%. And mining stocks were yesterday's winners, with Fortescue Metals, FMG and Rio Tinto, RIO, both rising more than 2%. As for what to watch today locally, there won't be much change at the open this morning. The futures are suggesting the Aussie share market will open six points lower. In local COVID-19 news, last night Melbourne entered a sudden five-day lockdown while New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian says she expects today's reported cases to be higher than yesterday's. In economic news, the unemployment rate fell to 4.9%. This is the lowest unemployment rate in a decade. However, labour force figures in the coming months will be interesting and we can expect some volatility given the data is going to include this current New South Wales lockdown. Travel stocks continue to come under pressure. While most of the travel stocks closed in the red yesterday, today we're all going to be watching Sydney Airport SYD's share price after the company formally rejected the takeover offer of $22 billion from a consortium of infrastructure investors. SYD lifted slightly 0.1 yesterday at the close. Today, also watch Telstra TLS, which closed flat yesterday. This was off the back of competition with Optus in an auction for low band spectrum coming up in November. Low band spectrum allows companies such as Telstra to carry mobile data across greater distances in regional Australia, which is important for Telstra to reach regional communities. The ACCC has proposed limits to how much low band spectrum Telstra, Telstra can purchase at the open. So Telstra shares will be on watch today. Moving to commodities, the oil price is down 2.4%. The gold price is edging 0.1% higher, while iron ore is currently trading 0.3% higher at 218 US dollars. Now, one of the most traded stocks yesterday by both Bell Direct and our advised clients was Westpac, WBC. WBC was recently downgraded to a hold by Bell Potter with an increased price target of $26.50. After a large jump in impairment benefits, Westpac closed 1.1% lower yesterday, falling the most out of the four major banks. Bell Direct clients were also trading Fortescue Metals FMG. The past week has seen confidence in iron ore miners as well as the broader resources sector. Yesterday, FMG closed 2% higher at $25.72, nearing its January all-time record high of $26.40. Now for some trading ideas for your consideration. Bell Potter maintained their buy recommendation on technology company Life360. They're a market leading family app and they include a range of features from communication, location sharing and driving safety. 360 is their ticker code. Bell Potter has increased their price target to $9.25, previously $7.75 with market movers and time creep in mind. In addition, Morgan Stanley are also backing 360. They're confident in the company's accelerating growth and they expect 360 to meet their expectation of 15 million US dollars for FY21. Life360 closed yesterday at $7.83, implying just over 18% share price growth in the year. Bell Potter also maintained their buy recommendation on Whitehaven Coal WHC with an increased price target of $2.50 with optimism in the current strength in thermal coal markets. Yesterday, WHC released their quarterly report which saw their share price jump 4.6% higher. This was despite reports saleable coal production fell 7% from this time last year. Whitehaven closed yesterday at $2.07, implying 21% share price growth in the year. And bullish charting signals have been identified in MNS, 
Brainship BRN and Rhythm Biosciences RHY, and that's according to Trading Central. I'm Sophia Mavridis with Bell Direct. Happy Friday and happy trading. Thank <laughs> you.